How are you today? No? Well, good luck trying to leave because I've locked my door. Yeah, I know you're meowing. It's not opening. YouTube survey 2013. <laughs> In case you've been living under a rock for the past couple years, Alex Day, aka Naramon on the tubes, does a survey every year. Nobody tagged me because nobody knows I exist. But I'm going to do it anyways, because I have no shame. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is jellyfish, and I will tell you why. Jellyfish, like, what are they even? They're just like a blob with tentacles that can kill you. There's jellyfish and they're like this, this big. That's, that's their little blob part is this big. Their tentacles are like longer than a bus. Yeah, you're afraid too, right Millie? Say hi to the people. She's like, let me go now. Okay, okay, Millie. Okay. Hey. Out, out, sorry. You can go. You can leave. Bye bye In Japan, fishermen started pulling up their nets, but all their fish were like infected with jellyfish venom and stuff. And so what the fishermen started to do was to like rapidly kill all the jellyfish that they kept on pulling up and then throw them back in the ocean. But jellyfish, when they're in that situation, they release all their eggs and sperm so they would be dead, but their eggs and sperm would be like fertilizing as they float down. And then jellyfish can remain in a pupate state for like up to like 50 to 100 years or something. But they discovered that because temperatures in the oceans were getting warmer, jellyfish were like springing up more often. <sighs> So I know the world is just populated by jellyfish and they like literally can't be killed by anything and I hate them. How did you find out Santa wasn't real? What? Sa Santa's not real? <laughs> What's the best idea you've ever had? The best idea I ever had was probably to join a choir when I moved to this town because basically all my friends come from choir and I really like to sing. It's kind of boring but... That's all I got. I love every single person in choir. What is the most embarrassing thing that your parents have ever done to you? As far as parents go, mine are pretty cool. The only thing I can really think of is that my dad used to teach me how to spell in song. And then so I was like doing a test, it was a spelling test, and I was like T-H-R-O-U-G-H. And then the teacher was like, I guess everybody knows the answer to question eight now. This singing well writing words thing hasn't really ended and there was another time when I was on my computer we were logging in on school and I was just like completely set out my entire password for everybody to hear and everybody just kind of looked at me and I was like crap so that's not really embarrassing but <laughs> I have cool parents if you were only allowed to pick one career for the rest of your life what would it be I feel like if if I knew the answer to that then I would be doing that right now instead of being 20 and living at home with my parents and not going to school. I'm really indecisive, I can't even pick a proper career choice. A creative writing prof told me that I I was really good at creative writing, so maybe I'll just be the next JK Rowling. When I was younger and I didn't know what I wanted to do, I always told people I was going to be like an astronaut or something, and they would be like, oh yeah, cool, that's great, and now when I tell people I'm going to be the next J.K. Rowling, they just laugh at me, so I don't understand why it's more probable that I could be an astronaut than J.K. Rowling. Secretly, I really want to be like an FBI agent or something. I think I'd be good at, like, infiltration because everybody just trusts me immediately. So that is my YouTube 2013 survey. Uh, if you watch this, feel free to do it because nobody tagged me and I still did it because <laughs> I'm sad and alone. Cool. Catch you later.